Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. I thought I would come at you real quick with an unbagging from Marc Jacobs and this is the replacement for that beautiful floral small de tote bag that I got last week and ended up returning. I did want to tell you a little bit about the return because what I did is I adhered the plastic envelope that they give you that has the, the sticky on the back and then you put all of the labels inside as well as some sort of invoice inside with it. I put that in there and then I completely taped over it figuring they could just slit the envelope open through the tape whenever they got it to France. and. I got a notification that the commercial invoice wasn't included and I'm thinking I included everything and I even put copies of things inside. Like I made copies and put them inside the box too. And so I got this alert and I was like, oh no, here we go again. I'm gonna have to get this sent back to me, then send it back. What a pain in the butt. So I contacted 24S and they were wonderful. They emailed, FedEx directly, they asked me to, and I said, I can't, it doesn't give me an option when I go in there because I've sent it to you with your label. And so they emailed the commercial invoice directly to FedEx and within a day it was delivered. But before it was delivered, I got notification that the customs exception that happened in France, that it had been resolved. So. Just keep an eye on your tracking when you do send things back to 24S. The reason I taped the plastic sleeve completely over is because the plastic sleeve got literally ripped open the last time I sent something back and all of the documentation got taken out and underneath it was the label from when they shipped it to me. So then they shipped it back to me. And so I completely taped over it thinking, oh, they'll, you know, be able to figure this out. So I would just say, if you're going to tape over it, leave a little bit of it that's untaped so that they can see what you did, because I don't think they could tell because I went a little tape crazy. Anyhow, I want to show you my bag of the day. It is my Saint Laurent Small Lulu, and I matched it to my top as well as to a ring that I've had for quite some time. And I can't remember the designer for this. It was either Levian or Effie. I think it was Levian, but I got it from Macy's a long time ago and I thought it was just stunning with the baguettes. But if you clicked on this video, I know it's because you wanna see what is in this particular bag. And this is the replacement bag that I got. Like I said, let's get into it. Let's not waste any time. I want to put the items that I have in my Lulu into this bag just to see how it slouches, what happens, I want to explore. And I'm not sure if this is gonna end up being the bag of the day or not, but I will tell you I peaked already and this one is a keeper. I know I said that at the beginning of the tote bag video and then I discovered some things about it. So I was extra careful when looking at this one to make sure that I didn't say it was a keeper at the beginning and then by the end changed my mind. So here we go. Oh, it's backwards. This is the sack, the sack bag by Marc Jacobs. Now why he decided to call this the sack, I think it's because it sort of resembles a grocery sack. And when you look, this is the sleeve that I was talking about that got completely torn open the last time I did a return with 24S. This time, once again, I put this documentation in there and I taped completely over this. I would say that you would be good just taping it like here and here and leaving a little bit in the middle open so that they can tell that there is access to the documentation. So I've already taken out the tissue paper. I did wanna show you that there is an insert inside and the bag magnetically hooks to the insert on both sides and I know another gal, Missy, I'll link her channel below. She reviewed this bag as well. And when she pulled hers open, the insert pulled open with it. And mine is not doing that. The insert's staying closed. So mine doesn't do that, but that's okay. I don't know that I'm gonna use this insert anyway. I think it's really cool. It's very large. It doesn't have any pockets in it. It's just a great big fabric insert for structure, I think. And that's not what I want. I don't want structure. 
And the other thing is, with this being a white fabric, I think it would get to looking pretty dingy if I used it on the regular, or even if I used it just for a short period of time. So I'm gonna set this aside, but it is trimmed in leather and it has this little leather patch. And then it has a nice chunky zipper pull with leather on the end. And then it has this lasso to tether it to the inside of your bag. Look how deliciously slouchy this bag is already. So when it comes to you, it's folded like that, folded flat. And then when you put your items in, I think if I don't have the insert in, it's just gonna sink in the middle. So I might want to get some bigger pouches than what I keep my things in so that they don't fall out or anything like that. So I might use some of my larger pouches, but I did wanna show you this is all leather on the inside. And then there is a slip pocket there that you could put your phone in. And if you had your phone in there, I think that it would stay put pretty well. The construction of this bag is kind of interesting. You can see it's folded and then up here, it's just sort of stitched right there and there. That is the only thing I am seeing about it that I don't particularly love, but I have tried it on my shoulder and it feels comfortable. So I just feel like it should have been stitched a little better, but maybe he didn't put more stitches in there because he didn't want to have the stitches be uncomfortable. I just feel like having only these two might not be enough. So if you do put the insert inside, it doesn't quite fill out the entire space. So I think you're still gonna get a slouchy look. So I'm gonna start by putting my stuff in there and see what happens and then maybe remove the insert and see how it looks then. I started carrying this pouch with my lip gloss and my powder in there. And I think there's one other thing in there. Maybe there's two lip glosses. My Louis Vuitton clay, my Fendi diamonds card holder, and my other Louis Vuitton clay. I usually carry two of the clays at one time and then one card holder, although I could certainly carry something bigger in this bag if I wanted to. And then I've got two AirPods cases, a glasses cleaning cloth, and my car key. I'm just gonna toss all this in there. There's gonna be oodles and oodles of room for Diet Dr. Pepper if I wanna bring some. And then I've got this little pouch that I carry things that are sharp, like nail files and tweezers and stuff like that. And then I put medicine in this little jewelry pouch because it's nice and flat, kind of like a card holder. And then I've been carrying my Hermes Bastia in these smaller bags I've been using because I can fold up cash in there and it also contains change. Now Dress Up Your Purse has a version of this that is awesome and pretty comparable. I got this in Boston as a souvenir for the first time I ever went to Hermes, but if it weren't for that vacation, I would be perfectly content getting the Dress Up Your Purse version because Melody's pieces are so, so nice. I do have her version of the Calvi card holder and she uses the same sort of leather and it is just really nice. I usually stick a few odds and ends like some band-aids and a comb and I'm gonna put these into my Felici insert. I don't know that I'm gonna end up using all these same things but I don't want loose band-aids and stuff roaming around. So here are all my items just kind of floating around in there. And I'm starting to see the advantage of using this pouch because even though it doesn't open and close with the magnet, it does hold the bag closed whenever it's all zipped up and your stuff's inside. So I like that. It's also allowing the bag to bottom out a little bit, which is what I wanted. I wanted the bottom to actually droop instead of be folded up like it was when I unboxed it. And this is extremely comfortable on my shoulder and I'm wearing a really thin top that if it wasn't, if it had any rough spots, I would definitely be able to feel it with this top. So this bag is a big bag and it's very comfortable on the shoulder. I'm keeping it, I'm gonna spray it. I'm gonna spray it like crazy with Colonel Carbon Pro all over it before I use it. I may even spray the little insert as well because that Colonel Carbon Pro works extremely well, even on fabric. A lot of times I'll spray my tops because then deodorant wipes right off of them. And so I like using it. Apple Guard's great too, but, but I prefer the Colonel Carbon Pro because I think it sprays more evenly and I get it off Amazon. I can link it down below, but this is a pretty cool bag. I don't have anything like it. 
and you can wear it like this where it says the sack but it's not super noticeable you mainly just see the word bag because of the way the pattern is or you could flip it around and wear it backwards and just have the story patch be right there kind of where your elbow hits so either way is great i can't wait for this to get more slouchy and more smooshy let me take the stuff out and see how it looks without the organizer inside so there are all my items and i guess i would just say i may have a couple of larger pouches that i put things in because I'm worried about losing the AirPods and my keys. But if I contain those a little bit, I think that would be even better. Now this allows the bag to slouch a little more, but I'm not sure. I think I might like it with the organizer in it just a little better. I don't know. Once I use it and it gets a little more mushy, then I'm gonna have to reevaluate and let you know. I do think that even though this has a little bit of the leather trim, that you could probably throw this thing in the washing machine. The leather's pretty treated. I don't know that I would do it all the time. And you could certainly just spot clean it too, especially if you spray it like I plan to. But I think I might like it better with this in it, which surprises me. And then I don't have to make my bag heavier by adding pouches if I have that inside. The leather on this, it feels softer to me than it did on the tote bag. It feels a lot more malleable. That may be due to the construction of it, not having backing and that sort of thing. But I feel like this is going to crinkle up and soften up and become a puddle. And I love that about it. And the other thing I'm noticing that's different from the one that I got from the tote bag that I got is there's a lot less green. There's a little bit of it right there, but I noticed the green and the yellow tones more on the tote bag than I am on this one. There is a little bit of yellow here on the back side, but I think these colors are just stunning and I have jewelry that matches. I've got purple, I have like a bright ruby ring that would match this so nicely. And I just love this. It doesn't look that great when I'm holding it like this. I think once it pedals out and becomes more malleable, it's gonna just get even better with time. So let me know what you think of the sack. And by the way, I have sold some other stuff, so this doesn't necessarily have to be my August purchase. We will just see what happens because I don't wanna spend money for the August purchase just to spend money. I wanna to try to reduce what I have, and I have been. I've sold a handful of Louis Vuitton bags now at this point, at least four that I can think of off the top of my head, if not more. I'd have to go back and look, but that's pretty good because I've added two, one of which I'm going to show you sometime very soon. So if you enjoy this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there's the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at the handbag housewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.